Hi all, I am Guru. I am back to you people. Guys, uh, today I would like to uh, I would like to discuss with you people on the customer level of interaction and uh, customer level of interaction with respect to testing. Okay, how 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 you how you need to perform? How you need to talk to the customer? Guys, this is one of the best uh, important session which I am giving you. I call it as a business communication skills. Business communication skills in the sense how best you are going to explore yourself in front of the customer. For example, if I'm working with a US client, okay, client is a client is in the call in front of me. Okay, I need to update my task. I need to update my uh, work progress. How best I'm going to update, how best I'm going to talk to the customers and how, how should I listen the customers, customer talks. Means what customer is telling to me, how the client is talking to me because I wanted to present myself, myself, what kind of testing I have done, what is my progress, today what I have done, and tomorrow what is my plan, yesterday what I have done, I call it as a scrum call. If you are going with the agile methodology, right? So we would like to interact with the customers. First of all thing, first of all, you should know how to listen the customer talk. See here guys, listening power is important. You need to listen very carefully what exactly customer wanted to talk to you. After listening him, after listening him, slowly you need to present yourself. So what you have done yesterday? What is your progress? How many defect you found today? Okay, how many defect? After founding the how many defect are still open? How many defect are in new status? How many defect are in, in progress? So how many test cases you executed? And how many defects you found? And how many defects are reopened? How many defects are in new status? How many defects you have been retested? And how many test cases you have been executed? Guys, this is the presentation skill. See, this is the presentation skill. You need to present them very clearly, very clearly. They should not ask you question back. What is this and what is that? Guys, you need to prepare a daily status report in such a way that it should be very clear and it should be very attractive to the customer. What is today's date? In which date you have executed and in which build you have executed the test cases? On that, on that particular build, how many test cases you have executed? How many test cases got failed? And how many defect you have raised? Because if you map the test cases which got failed to the defect, how many, how many you have raised? But both should get mapped. And how many test cases are pending? Reason for pending? And what is the risk you have faced today? For example, today I was executing the test cases. Build has been not came to on time. And, and server were down where I could not able to meet my expectations. So that you should put under the risk and you should highlight what are the problems you have faced in that particular day. So after sending a daily status report, there will be a call and you need to talk to the customer. Means how you are going to present yourself. The presentation skills should be very good and it should be very attractive. And they will ask you a lot of questions. You should be able to handle all the questions what they are asking regarding to a, with respect to your module. It's because you are owner of your module and if something goes wrong with your module, you are the responsibility. You need to take the responsibility. You are, you should know how many severity defect you have raised. So how many severity, how many priority priority you have assigned? How many test cases you have executed? Pin to pin information, guys, you need to present in the status report. You should highlight with everyone in the team. Let them know what exactly you are doing that in that particular day. And what you have done yesterday. What is the What you are going to do today and what is your plan for tomorrow also you need to tell to the customer and how, how your communication skills and your business communication skills, how best you are going to present is really, guys, really important to the customer. Guys, join with me. I will guide you pin to pin information about the QA, how you are going to work, what are the problems you are going to face, and how best you are going to clear the interview also, because interviewer may ask all these kind of questions to you people once you are going with an experienced guy. Guys, this is one of the best opportunity for, for you people. Join with me. I am going to start a new batch. I am going to start the new batch. Let us join with me. I would like to help you out. 
from the basic to advanced level because I have a vast experience in QA. I was handling multiple customers. I had multiple clients also, stakeholders. I was I was able to handle big, big projects under me. So many people were working. So guys, this is the best opportunity. And even though non-technical people he, who wanted to work with me, I'm welcoming them. And even though the people who are working, who don't know how to communicate with the customer and how to talk to the people and what exactly they are doing, there is a problem. I will tell you guys, there are companies, startup company and medium scale company, they are not going to follow the standard process. If they are not going to follow the standard process, the particular person who is working in QA, right, he don't know the process. If he wanted to go for a technical discussion for any kind of interview, if he get an opportunity, he could not able to satisfy the interviewer. He could not able to justify himself what exactly they were talking to him in the technical discussion. Guys, it is one of the best opportunity. Join with me. I'm going to help you out. Thank you. We will meet once again. Go through my YouTube. Guys, please, please subscribe as well as like this video. There are plenty of people, guys, you believe it or not, I'm getting hell lot of calls. Every day I'm getting calls from the students. Let them understand. Let them learn. It is the best opportunity for the people. If you like and if you subscribe, right, your friends may get this invitation and they can go through it, guys. Help others. Take a help from me also. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We will meet you once again, guys. See you again.